So let's assemble our 3RV29 in-feed system. This can be used to mount um, a variety of load feeders um, up to 63 amps uh, across the whole bus bar system. So this is a great benefit over our standard fork system that's used for the uh, screw terminal type uh, load feeders. So it comes in a few components such as this. So we have an in-feed module here with two potential ways for an S0 and an S0 zero um, load feeder arrangement all of the connections are push fit or spring clamp like the main connections here which will take up to 25 millimeter square cable the system can be expanded then with additional sections such as this and the plastic element on the end can be used to terminate the row alternatively there is also a left hand side in feed a reverse of this that can be mounted on the other side so you could have a dual feeding option. For this, I'm going to put on the breaker there. We have a plug. This is the standard plug. There's also a double width plug which gives greater spacing between these so that you can run control cables down the middle. So we'll just assemble our plug into there and that, get, that is just a push fit connection. We then mount that onto our DIN rail doesn't have to be DIN rail mounted. There's also slots here on the corners to allow for screw connection onto the, the back panel. And we should clip that down to engage it onto the DIN rail. So we already have some low feeders assembled here. Now we can assemble these on by leaving it like this and letting it clip on like that. But you can see this isn't as secure as it could be. So what we have as an option for this are these contact bases here. So these fit onto the predefined slots like this and they have screw location pins, uh, uh, slots at the bottom here so you can secure the contact base to the back panel. And then there are these clips here. So this is an S0 size load feeder that I'm assembling. And that locates and holds it a lot more securely. Notice that the clip is grabbing the bottom of the contact there for extra security. Then to make our connection onto the bus bar system we have these push fit bus bar clips. So these sit on top of the breaker like this and can be pushed back and located like that. So you can see for this process it's entirely uh, toolless assembly and all the connections are touch protection safe.